everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create my cinematic particles logo reveal project inside of After Effects using track code particular. So this video is gonna be super for anyone who wants to learn how did I create something like this from scratch and also for someone who wants to learn some advanced tips and techniques of track code particular because I am gonna be showing you how to create some really nice elements using that plugin. So this is going to be towards the advanced side of After Effects and I'm going to split this tutorial into two parts. So in part one, I'm going to be specifically showing you how to create something like this. In this, we'll be covering the core animation and how to add some basic effects to get this effect. And in the part two, I'm going to show you how to take what you have created in part one and composite it with these fractals and how to add some optical flares and some more FX and getting that perfect template look. So with that being said, awesome people, let's get started. So I've created my main um, composition. I'm going to create another solid layer and I'm going to apply track code particular to this. I'm going to actually rename this too. So particular, there you go. And just in case if we have a beginner over here, uh, what's happening right now is particular is emitting particles from one source, right? One point. Now what we want to do is we basically want to create two points, two source points and we want to animate it into that swirl motion. Now, if I was to do this by hand, by taking the pen tool and creating a motion part, it would take me a lot of time and you know, the result wouldn't be top notch superb. So what we'll do awesome people is we'll trick this into something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new light. And this is very important that you name your light. So we're gonna call this emitter and you have to select the point light. So we cannot work with these or you know, ambient, we have to work with point. And also awesome people, make sure that you are assigning the correct color to your light. So if you want blue particles, give your light a blue color. So I'm gonna go for blue, superb. And we basically awesome people are gonna duplicate this light. So make sure that your light, like bring it over here, somewhere in the screen. Duplicate this, bring the other one there. And now awesome people, we have created two points. So we're basically gonna tail particular to take this as a point and start emitting particles from this. But before we do that, let's just add a little bit of more motion to this because we still want to create that swirl motion, right? So we'll create a new null object. I'm gonna rename this to controller01. And I'm gonna attach these two lights. I'm gonna parent this to the controller. So we basically are gonna animate the controller and because these two are parented to controller now, they're gonna have the animation too. So I'm gonna go to first point right there. I'm gonna hit the S key. And I'm gonna start the animation for scale. I'm gonna bring this down to zero. Go back to the first frame. I'm gonna take this to say 250. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna come closer and then bam, super. Now awesome people is uh, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation to this. So start my thing animation go back in time and i'll add two revolutions so now what's going to happen is going to rotate and then it's going to come together super so we have created this now we'll start the particular layer one more time and you can see it's right now nothing is going to happen particular is still emitting particles from the center no worries awesome people we go to emitter over here and we will assign emitter type from point to lights and you can see we have created that core animation so we are getting that swirl now we just have to add more particles and add some more effects and we'll have something in no time. All right, so let's get started with creating these um, these kind of particles. Let me just move all this. These particles first because this is kind of easy and uh, you know, it's can get done in no time. So what we'll do awesome people is, and yeah, before getting started, let's add a small opacity fade uh, to the particular layer. So. After one second, this is just gonna fade away. And while we are at this awesome people, let's add um, an animation to particles per second. So I'll take this to 250. And after say five frames, I'll bring this down to zero. Super. Now what I'll do awesome people is I'll go to position subframe and I'll change this to exact slow. So this is gonna give me a little bit of nice curly motion. So if I this fat lean in here, you can see that the curl motion is not perfect. This is going to be super. And even though it says slow, believe me, this is, you know, it's not going to take that much of a rendering. All right. So we're good. Awesome people. Next, we will increase the velocity from 100 to 250 and keep everything over here. Um, simple, normal by default. This is good. And maybe you want to change velocity random. 
to 50 and that's it this is all that we want to do in the emitter section we'll close this we'll go to particles now and we'll change the life of particles from 3 to 0.5 so this is only going to be there for 0.5 seconds superb next we will change the color from at birth to from light emitter so remember i selected my lights and i made them blue color this is going to take color from that light now i'm going to change the blend mode to add and superb so we have something going on and i think this this blue is not working so if any time awesome people you want to change the color of your particles just double click on the light you can change the color here and it's going to work like this mm, a little bit oh there you go next awesome people is i'm going to go to particular once again and i'm going to increase the size from 5 to 15 so we're going to get this sort of effect and then we want to add a randomization to the size so size random i'll take this all the way up to 90 so you can see how i'm getting all these different effects no not, not actually effects but different sizes of particles so you can see some of them are very big some of them are very small superb this is looking good um next what we'll do also people is we'll go to opacity over life and i'll take the second piece now this may be a little difficult to find because it may be hidden something like this especially if you're on a laptop so just increase your fx control and take the second preset and boom we have a very nice effect happening now awesome people what we'll do is we'll go to physics air and in turbulence field we will change the effect size to say 10 or actually say 50 and then effect position to 150 so now if you were to animate this you can see we're getting a nice effect Super. Now, if you ever feel that the particles are a little too much or you know, there's a lot of animation just in this, then what you can do is you can go back to your particular setting, this particle setting, and change this number. Sorry, go to emitter and change this number right here particles per second. But make sure, awesome people, since this is animated, to go on the first keyframe and then change it over there. So I'm gonna bring this down to 200. Super. This looks good. Next awesome people, what we'll do is we will create these fine particles. It's very nice. You can see this? This is what we are going to try to create. And for doing that, what we'll do is we'll just duplicate this particular layer. And then we'll start working on this layer itself. So we have our big, you know, big sphere-ish, you know, feathered particles over here. And on this, we'll just tweak a little bit of changes. And because all this animation is already done, we are saving a lot of time. So I'm going to increase my particles per second to say somewhere around 2000 and I'm going to open particles and I'm going to decrease the size from 15 to say 5 or say not even 5 say 2.5 you know very fine super you see this really nice next awesome people is I would like to increase the velocity of this to say 500 super. this looks good and also awesome people when you are rendering this or ramp reviewing this also add a little motion blur because this really looks good with motion blur there you go okay super all right um next what we'll do awesome people is we'll again go to physics effect size i'm i'm, I'm gonna leave size to 50 and i'm gonna bring this down to say 100 actually not even 100 say bring this down to 10. super there you go and actually I'm gonna take this particles from 2000 to say 3000 we want more particles there you go that looks good now and this is how I was able to create uh, my very basic effects now also people there is one thing to remember when I was creating my templates in my YouTube demo I literally put in a full day's time after one full days of work i was able to create something like this so you cannot expect to create something so good with 15 minutes of work you have to add a little bit of more experimentation and just tweak settings and see what is working and how it's working so what we have created till now is this and also awesome people yeah one important thing change this particular to a uh, blend mode from normal to add so we don't have this normally happening check this out Super, it's blended in properly. This is add and this is normal. So, we're gonna get this problem. Change this to add and it'll be super. So, you'll have to add a little bit more experimentation, add a little more time, sit down with it and see what works best. See, super. And yeah, what we can do, awesome people, is we can uh, select the controller 
and add a little bit of ease to this animation right here. Superb. So it ends in a little nice way. And this is, and don't, don't worry, you know, e even though this is like happening, this glowish thing, um, this is a place where that flare is gonna come in the next episode. So this part is gonna get covered anyway, so it's okay. So this is uh, what we have learned today uh, on how to create um, some nice elements using track code particular. So in the next episode, I'm gonna be covering how did I create these fractal effects and how to composite what you have made uh, using some optical flares and some more FX that ship with Adobe After Effects. So one more time, some nice fractal effects and you're gonna have a very good template. So my name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you did, then please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Zen Gen Learning, uh, like my Facebook page, contact me on Facebook if you're having any problems and I will see what I can do. My name is CJ Style. Thank you so much and peace out.